The Pittsburgh Steelers, they picked up Russell Wilson in free agency, as I mentioned. And Steelers fans are juiced up about it, as they should be. But there's a lot of talk about Russell Wilson not being able to play anymore. And, and, you know, the thing that drives me crazy about this is, check this out. So, people say Russ can't play anymore. Russ is not the same guy. He's not a good quarterback. He's not as good as he was in Seattle, which is true to that part. But in terms of him still being a quarterback that's worth something in this league, oh, you're crazy if you think Russ has lost it all. I mean, he had one bad year in Denver under a terrible offensive coordinator and a terrible head coach. And then we've seen him have some sort of success when Sean Payton came along. And for anybody who's saying, oh, well, Russ, even though he had an okay season last year, he's still not that guy. Okay, well, let me tell you this. Russell Wilson last year threw more touchdown passes than Lamar Jackson, than Matthew Stafford, than C.J. Stroud, and Jalen Hurts. And he did all of this. He threw less touch. He threw more touchdown passes in less games played than all of those guys. So to me, when I'm looking at all of this information, I'm looking at the full story of it about all oh, this narrative that Russell Wilson is going to have to fight for a position with the Steelers and he's going to have to possibly prove himself again that he's still a good quarterback. Uh, I don't really buy into all of that because from what I seen last year, Russ still looked like he was a pretty damn good quarterback. And him going to Pittsburgh is just a huge win. So anybody who's having doubts about Russell Wilson going to play for the Steelers, you need to take that out your mind right now. The Steelers practically got Russell Wilson for nothing. I think they're paying him $1.2 million on this deal because the Broncos were idiots and they, re they, they released Russell Wilson and now they still have to pay for him. They took that huge cap hit that I talked about last week and they still have to pay for Russell Wilson. So yes, even though he has a huge contract, the Broncos are paying $38 million and the Pittsburgh Steelers are only paying $1 million. So this helps the Steelers financially. It brings a guy who's, who's played in the NFL, has plenty of experience under his belt, wasn't the best quarterback in free agency because I think that was Kirk Cousins. But you take Kirk Cousins out the equation, who else do you got there? Justin Fields? Trying to trade up for a draft pick with a guy with no experience? Oh, wait, or maybe, 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 maybe you're just going to keep your guy Mason Rudolph. Or maybe you're going to keep Kenny Pickett. <laughs> Who else better to grab right now than Russell Wilson? So this is a huge win for this organization. And then you pair them with the offensive line who's already been proven to be solid over there in Pittsburgh. And then you look at uh, George Pickett, who's a great help on the receiving end, running back Najee Harris. I mean, bro, this team right here in Pittsburgh, they might cause some damage. I'm going to tell you that right now, bro. This team really might cause some damage, some damage, bro, because I'm loving what they're doing right now. You got a guy who's coming off a pretty damn good season, throwing 26 touchdowns, only eight interceptions. And, like, even if he just repeats that same exact thing from last season, this is going to help the Steelers because the Steelers are already stacked in every other area. They're solid on defense. They're solid on the defensive line. They solid on the O-line. They got a great receiving core. They got a great running back. Like every other area for the Pittsburgh Steelers is damn near solid. So if Russ comes in and he plays half of what he did last year in Denver, the Steelers are going to make the playoffs and, and get some type of playoff wins, especially under the leadership of Mike Tomlin, a guy who's had 17 straight seasons of a positive record. Like, Brad, this guy's played with a great quarterback. He's played with bad quarterbacks. And somehow, he still manages to get a positive record year after year after year and give his team a fighting chance. So, to me, bro, this is this is great for Russell Wilson. Um, it, it, it's it's definitely looking like this team is going to be a playoff contender. And, and I think, man, the Steelers are going to crank it up. I think y'all boys better whip them terrible tiles out. And, I mean, hey, this is definitely something worth celebrating here. The only thing I'm hoping, and it's been an ongoing joke, I mean, I hope this doesn't happen. And, and I feel like this would happen to Russell Wilson just because he's been a meme over these past few years in the NFL. But because Mike Tomlin has this beautiful, positive record um, streak of, of 17 straight seasons of having a positive record, it's been an ongoing joke that people have been saying Russell Wilson is about to ruin it. <laughs> and I, I would just be, man, this would this would be terrible if Russell Wilson happened to be the guy. And, and 
the main reason I say is it's funny because you got to remember, bro, Russell Wilson, this is Broncos. Let's ride. This is you, you got to remember how, how silly of the things he was doing over the past few seasons, bro. The silly things he was saying and and um, doing high knees on the plane. Like, bro, Russell was kind of tripping over these past few years, especially when he went to Denver, bro. So it's just like the guy has been a meme over the past few years. And I'm hoping he really cleans it up. I'm hoping. It's just no foolishness going on. Even though it's funny, it's entertaining. It can't be no foolishness because it's going to kill me if he ruined Mike Tomlin's record. I, and for the record, I hate the Steelers. I don't like the Steelers at all. I just like Mike Tomlin, him being a black coach and actually knowing what to do and knowing how to coach in the NFL. So it's not just because he's a black coach, but it's because he actually knows how to coach in the NFL. That's something that does make me like him is like he's a damn good coach bro you really can't hate on him whether he was black or white like it, the man has been doing great things since he's been in Pittsburgh so I, I don't like Pittsburgh but I definitely like him there and him coaching so yeah if he was going if he was in any other area any other city I'd probably be a fan he'd probably be on one of my teams as well <laughs> y'all know I got like five or six different teams 